oop, and there I am. Seven years old and ready to burn baby burn. Got a lot on my mind right now. First, how I am slaying this plastic neon green transparent costume. Second, remembering the sassy steps and skip and point hands on hips. And third, I'm just trying not to pass out because look at me, what am I doing? Whatever it is, I'm doing it big and I'm all in. Fortunately, so is my brainstem. Let's pause for a moment. What is the brainstem? The brainstem, the innermost as well as the oldest part of the brain, begins where the spinal cord swells as it enters the skull. It is composed of three major parts, the medulla, the pons, and the thalamus. The brainstem is responsible for basically keeping us alive, heart beating, breathing, you name it. And it does all of this so efficiently that we don't even have to think about it. The brainstem fulfills our basic needs, enabling us to survive as it maintains homeostasis. Even when the body is doing its best to disrupt it. Like now! Here, the first part of the brainstem, the medulla is working overtime. The medulla at the base of the brainstem controls heartbeat and breathing. My heart rate is way up in order to get blood to my muscles, and my breathing is definitely increasing as my body calls out for more oxygen. But look at me. I'm not thinking of any of that. I'm just thinking about how I wish I could wear these white boots to school tomorrow. My heart and breath increases happen naturally thanks to my medulla. In fact, studies show that if the rest of the brain is cut off and only the brainstem remains, animals can go on living. And pause. It's time to talk about the next part of the brain, the pons, which is located above the medulla. It's the structure connecting the brain to the spinal cord. It works with the medulla to help with breathing rhythm. The pons also help regulate rapid eye movement and sleep and wait for it. You see that facial expression? That facial expression, that's on me. The pawns had nothing to do with it, but it does control facial expressions, like the wincing from a pain or a natural reaction to a surprise and freeze. Let's take a look at the thalamus, located at the top of the brainstem. It's the brain's sensory control center. The thalamus directs messages to sensory receiving areas in the cortex and transmits replies to the cerebellum and medulla. It receives information from the five senses, except for smell. The thalamus then routes that information to higher brain regions that have to do with seeing, hearing, tasting, and touching. All this magic would not be possible without the thalamus helping me pay attention and telling me what to focus on. In this case, that suave guy in the white suit who would grow up to be on the desperate housewives of Orange County. But that's another story. Meanwhile, inside the brainstem, a nerve network known as the reticular formation extends from the spinal cord up through the thalamus. When the spinal cord's sensory input flows into the thalamus, some of it travels through the reticular formation. This net-like structure filters incoming stimuli and relays important information to other brain areas. Thanks to the reticular formation, I am able to multitask as I am multi-throwing my body around to burn baby burn. This dance brought to you by the brainstem.